Hello and welcome to the Code Maven channel. My name is Gabor Savu, and in this video we are going to have a tiny little bit of experiment with web development, with uh, Perl, with module issues uh, especially. So we are checking the view of uh, module issues. This is the website of module issues, and uh, there you can find a link to the tutorials. So the, under the documentation and here in this document the tutorial there is this hello world application or a couple of lines of code and we are going to use that so in order to use that here i have a terminal and i already have the, the file ready so in this directory i have two files one of them is this demo file which is exactly a copy of that example that i had found here in the documentation of modulitus modulitus the other thing is a docker file the docker file uh, says that we are basing our code on Perl 532, uh, then running cpanm uh, module issues in order to install uh, module issues, and then created just a working directory where I'm going to put the code and copying the demo.pl to that directory, to the slash opt, and that's when we are building uh, the Docker image, and then in order to run the application, we run uh, when the uh, docker container is running, we run Perl, the name of the uh, file, the demo.pl, and uh, we pass it the uh, parameter demo, which is, if you look at the, um, uh, the, the explanation, here in the commands, you can see various ways to run this application. Well, they called it myapp.pl, but doesn't really matter. Um, and uh, there is yeah there is this this one the daemon uh, version that i'm going to try so in order to build this docker image i need to run docker build uh, minus t uh, pearl demo let's say call it that way and dot and that's uh, how it built now it was pretty quick for me because i already built it and now it's rebuilding from cache uh, for you, it will take a couple of more, uh, couple of minutes till it downloads the first uh, uh, image of Perl and then installs the module issues module. So it will take a little time. And but now it's there, so I can run it. Docker run uh, minus minus rm because I don't want to keep a, 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 around the container when it's uh, done. And then I can uh, say Perl demo. Now this will run the the container and run the uh, web application inside a container, but I won't be able to access it from the outside because the uh, ports are not mapped. So in order to map the ports, I put in minus p and 3000 mapped through 3000. I know 3000 because I already tried it and it also says here. Okay, so uh, I run this code. Now it runs the Docker container and tells me that it's listening on port 3000. So I can now open the browser and type in localhost uh, 3000 and there you are, it says hello world. And now just to make sure that uh, you see that I'm not really cheating, I press Control C to stop the container and I go back to the browser and try to reload it and it says it can't do it because, well, it's not running anymore. And if I run it again and I run it again, it's working. So thank you for watching. I hope that uh, this little, little, little tiny intro will help uh, you get started with the module issues uh, using a Docker image or without Docker image. Actually, you don't need Docker for this, but I saw that I'm going to put it in a Docker image so we can um, uh, keep working on it and add more, more stuff to it later on. And if you liked it, then please follow the channel, like the video, and remember that these videos are available for you because of all the people who are supporting this work uh, via my Patreon channel. So thank you very much for all the people who are supporting uh, the action. Bye-bye.